Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's Tillette here. And what's up, YouTube? It's Chad. What's up, YouTube? Oh, he mad. <laughs> Y'all can man. tell he got a little attitude. He ain't say his YouTube like he normally says. I said, What's up, YouTube? But I hope everybody is doing and feeling well on this Monday. Excuse me. My allergies have been bothering me I all day. Fine. I didn't say anything. I usually you just say a little bit more energetically, a little bit more vibrantly and everything. But yeah, that's okay. Fine. Despite what everything is going on. That's understandable. Going on. As y'all can see, we still in this damn room. I don't understand what's going on. They came and gave that note and that was it. They didn't even come knock on the room door and, and say anything. And now I feel like every time I hear the door knock, that's them saying, hey, hurry up and move your stuff. And it's such an uneasy feeling, but... You know, God is good. It's not really much that I could do about it. It's just when they come and say, you got to go, you got to go. It's just, I, just, I wish I knew when they were going to come knock on the door and tell me, pack your stuff and go, you know. I mean, for the most part of it, everything is packed up. It's just the clothes in the closets, and that's really it. You know, I'm ready to move out when they say, get the ball rolling, and that's that. But aside from that i hope everybody is having a happy monday i hope everybody is feeling good doing good i hope well if you're in a different state because here in new york the kids are not back to school but i hope everybody is having great back to school days and everybody is getting situated and everything like that and i just hope everything is just going well um like i said today's monday and i do want to keep to my schedule monday wednesdays and fridays like i'm i'm trying so hard to keep to a schedule and just stick to it by all means you know this saturday hopefully fingers crossed going live well i have my calendar right here my calendar's not here no more i will usually just look up to see my calendar but whatever saturday 7 p.m sister going live but um today was okay uh went to work that was it chad went to work like i said i was coming home thinking they was gonna be at the door saying sister it's time to move but of course so those nerves is out the way um two things that I was going to say today because I've been getting a couple of emails and a couple of questions saying why are you still in the shelter and it's such a random ass question like why you're still in the shelter it's so many variables that come into play when you're still in the shelter I mean one of the big reasons why I believe I'm still in here and I could have been out of here was because COVID last year that like slowed everything down none of the housing specialists were here downstairs nobody was here to assist with the voucher program so that shut everything down so you could say those 10 months just completely nipped everything in the bud and as i stated before once you get in the shelter they don't just be like hey here's a, a house there you go it's all good and dandy you know majority of the time i want to say eight times out of ten if you're coming into the shelter and you are employed and you're coming in with someone else and you're both employed you're not going to get as much help as you would get if you came in here unemployed or say if you had any children or something like that they're just going to say okay take a number and that's it you got to do everything on your own you know and when it comes to the voucher situation so many places are so skeptical when they hear that word they just I don't know they just think of the stigma attached to it and they be like oh i don't want to deal with that they think of welfare they think of just bums and just everything negative you know so that plays a part in it too and like i said credit i never thought about credit like that until i got in here and i really focused on it and i said okay this needs to be addressed this needs to be paid for and then you go back and you think about the debt you had and <laughs> and then you think about the debt you had and sometimes it gets overwhelming you're just paying those things off and also I just don't want to take an apartment to say I have an apartment and be in over my head and I'll be right back here again I'm trying to find the best place so that I won't be in over my head so that I can survive and I can maintain a decent living so that my paychecks just don't go to rent and I don't have nothing for myself that's living hard you know and I don't want to go into a situation willingly like that it's not fair to myself or to chat if that she was to come. Gonna, she already know I ain't, I'm not going into no situation like that. I don't know if I've been in here six years. I'm not going into a situation like that. It don't even matter. I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm not. I'm not with it. I'm we did it before. We, we did, did it. it. We had it. apartments that was nice, paid rent, and there was so much We've money. Got behind, had to ask rent money for and people. All of that. Nah. We were stuck. Barely had money to eat because paying nah, rent. We ain't doing but that. 
you know, people say, as long as my bills is paid, I'm good. Absolutely. I have nothing against that. But I also feel like as long as your bills is paid, it's good. You still want money to enjoy yourself. You understand right. what I'm saying? And right. that's one of the things. We don't like wearing, um, you know, we like nice stuff. Like, we like nice shit. I mean, maybe some people don't like, you know, but we like, me, we like nice shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? We like, we like nice shit. We don't like cheap shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we like nice shit. Like, period, dot. We like nice shit, just like everybody else. Some people like nice things, you know? We, we like nice things, too, you know? Just because we're in the shelter and we're homeless, we don't have a home, doesn't mean, like, you know, we don't like nice things, you know? We don't we don't want to wear comfortable shoes. We don't want to eat a nice meal, hot meal. And that's another you know thing, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me finish. All the time let me finish this, too. Another thing, too. Being in here and being in a non-cooking facility, you can't just be in here cooking all the time. You know what I'm saying? And with the new management in here, they're really getting oh, yeah, strict with straight. it. So we just buying food out, they and come, that's forty, check, fifty sure dollars a cook. day. Like, I got nothing on. And then another thing, and it's just keeping it a hundred. Life happens, and you get comfortable. You get up, go to work every day. You live your normal life, and you just get into a flow. And time passes by. Right. If you want to call that comfortability, well, then say, hey, call that comfortability right now. I'm not paying any rent, so I can understand why somebody would say, oh, I see why you in the shelter. You work, you ain't got to pay rent. You can buy clothes. You ain't got to do this. But no, please mm -hmm. do not think that little of me that I would want to live my life like that. That ain't even it. We don't care about please. We got we got brand new shit sitting. Like I got. Brand, we got brand new sneakers, brand new shoes, slides, heels, uh, jewelry, what you want, like shirts, pants, we got brand new, all that shit, but it's not, that's like, I mean, we don't, you know what I'm saying, we don't, we, we, we not there right now in our life, but we care about that, like, you know what I'm saying, like, we don't, I don't, I don't care about it, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's not, you know, but I do, I do like to, I, I do like to, to feel good and, and look good and, and be comfortable. That's for sure. I'm not gonna be walking around here like. Um, and of course not. That's why you, know, you work. Like Absolutely. A fucking you don't have to explain no, that's that. Out. That's why you work. That's, that's out. ridiculous. I don't fucking nobody said. Yeah, I don't care what, which, what, who, what. Uh, I did my hand two little French braids, y'all, for work. Fucking I had to keep it cute real bone. quick. Yeah, man, you got me fucked up. Sorry. Keep shaking the bed. I couldn't get my hair done on Saturday because I fell asleep and I was not moving. I didn't move. Saturday. I don't know what was wrong, but I guess just having a normal life and doing what you do every day, you just be sleepy sometimes, and I was sleepy, you know, and I just laid in the bed, and I didn't move, you know, I wanted to get up and do the video and take advantage of the space, but I ain't move, you know what I'm saying, and yeah, that's pretty much it, if you want to call it comfortability, forgive me, but life happens, and you just get up, go to work, and you live your life, and, and you just got to take the time out and be serious and I'm focusing so hard and I've been trying sending out applications like I've been doing and just really just waiting to finish paying off everything and wait for the credit to just keep rising you know what I'm saying and inevitably God's plan for me is God's plan for me I'm on nobody's timeline and this when somebody says and when somebody you know? says oh you're still in the shelter I just have to take heed to it and say Tlet, this is your situation ain't nobody passing out right. no apartments ain't nobody doing anything to help right. you so they can't say anything about it you know what I'm saying but, you know, I do feel like a sense of dread when I come in here. Absolutely. I can't stand it here. I want my own place so of bad. Course, I want my own too. shower. I, I hate the fact that I can't even cook a full meal and I want to eat. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, my sister, she says some slick stuff. And I showed it to you guys because I have nothing to hide. But she going to sit there and say <laughs> I'm getting high and everything because I'm losing weight. I'm losing Man, weight. No you can sit there and say all that you want. Call me a crackhead. She's call been whatever. the same size for the last call, six years. Call me a crackhead. I've call me whatever you want life. to. You can sit there and say it in the comments. Oh, you <laughs> see my movements. My tooth is missing. I already told you why my tooth was missing. That was because I was in an abusive relationship. And the only reason why I brought it up is, like I said, is because I show everything. And... Who cares if somebody say, oh, you put it out there on social media. My life is social media now because right. it's YouTube. So I don't ever want to come on here what and be talking about something and they be like, oh, what's she talking about? So, yeah, I posted right. up the message. I have nothing to hide. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. I ain't got shit to hide. And I'm not going to hide nothing. What you want to know, I'll tell you. I said, ain't no anything, crackheads anything, over here. I whatever, mean, ask, I don't care. however I'm, you guys, will offended. you shush? However you interpret my actions in the video, that's how you interpret my actions, okay? Call me whatever you want. I know that I make sure I get up every day and I handle my business and I go to work. I Call ain't missed a day. I don't do none of that type of stuff. I take care of myself. I make sure my business is done, and that's that. You understand? And if you ever saw anybody in the video nodding or whatever, it's probably because you're high. 
<laughs> you understand Duh. what I'm trying to say? Like, <laughs> who's going to sit here and, and lie? I have no reason to lie. I have no reason to front. I have no reason to sit here and try to have somebody accept me. I've never spoken bad on anybody in my family. I've always said that my family is very limited. There's nobody in my family. And I've always been real and told about the relationship with my sister. I'm not sitting here lying when I say I don't have a relationship with my sister. And I'd be damned if anybody speak on me. I haven't seen this girl in years. She haven't even spoken to me to my voice in years. So... You can't sit here and come at yeah, me no type of way talking sister, about, you know? I can't have kids. You gotta be a lady you and call your sister. You ain't gonna have sister. kids. It's too late. You don't say and nothing you said, like that. And, and what else she, what she said, and, and another thing you said too, Tiff, was you said that, um, Damn, that I saw, like I that. saw you, I saw you, I saw you nod in your, in your video. Well, then that means that you've been watching the channel from the beginning <laughs> because the name. only videos that I saw us, um, you know, nodding was the and earlier your, beginning. Your ass is nodding. And I ain't got shit to hide. I smoke weed, yes, I fucking smoke my ass off, and yeah, I pop Listen, a pill once suck, in the blue suck. when I fucking want. So fucking want. Nobody don't pay Check. my bills, nobody don't do nothing for me, Check. nobody don't say shit to me. I go to work every single day and get up and take care of my business and come home and take care of my business, so... It don't matter. I ain't got shit to hide. What else you want to know? Yeah. And, and we just made. What else you want to know? And we just made three years yep. in the shelter. What else you want to know? And for the people that's just coming in. And I got it, six months clean off of cigarettes. <laughs> if anybody is wondering, if you just happen to click hey, this video, care. my name is Tala. Welcome to the know. channel. That's Chad. That's my husband. And we just sit in here focusing on how our day was and what goes on in real life that people don't want to talk about that people want to sweep under the it rug is what it is, that yo. just happens and this just happens everybody you know in I'm the saying? shelter do something everybody in the shelter do something everybody in this bitch do Are something you crazy nobody right in now? Everybody in the shelter does something. Nobody in here is fucking perfect. What does like, that have to do with anything? You know what I'm saying? That's to, I'm just saying that to say, like, everybody in the shelter does something that they do. You know what I'm saying? Nobody is perfect. Like, you know, okay, everybody in the shelter is not all just in the shelter just because you're just a bum. Like, no, everybody does what they do. Everybody has... It's plenty of people in here with jobs, just like us. Of course there are. Everybody's not in here. There's plenty of people in here with jobs, just like us. There's plenty of people in here that, that fight, smoke go weed, to church. That, do get high off of other shit. It's plenty of people. It's all of that. We, you know what we've I'm saying? come in the house and seen It's people seen in here that got cars. High, that's life. Um, it's people in here that, you know what I'm saying? It's people in here that got fucking real good jobs and shit, you know? It's just it's just the housing is, is a mess. And if I'm in a video and I look like I'm doing something or twitching, it's probably because I'm freaking nervous. Hello, no I'm recording yeah, to myself. I tell you, so I'm high. I'm if I feel, if I feel I'm starting to get that, smacked, I'm going to let like, you know. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little, hard I'm a little wavy right now. I'm Wolf of Brooklyn? Right now. Wolf of Brooklyn? X? You, you the fam. You the yeah, fam. Yeah, I smoke weed. Appreciate you. And if that's how per people is going to judge, and well, we then don't fun. watch the channel because at the it's end of the smart. day, all I've tried to do, TV. all I've tried to do is just be as honest as I can and just showcase my life as real as it can be without not taking any shortcuts because I can't sit here and say I'm in a shelter, but this is happening, but this is happening. No, this is it. This is it. This is all of it in its entirety, you know what I'm saying? And throughout all of this, I'm still coming and finding out who to let is, you know, like. I'm I definitely said, still finding out who I, I am. Our whole relationship, it was not just based upon struggle and we homeless and everything. This just happened to us in the last right, five man. years. We've been together for almost 10 years. This wasn't a struggle relationship. We just hit a time where nope. we couldn't just get back up and we weren't going back to family. We, right. we could easily, we could not be homeless right now. I could, I could be in my mama house right, right. now. I could be in my grandmother's house in a house with a backyard, basement, all of that. I don't that. know where I could be, but I could be somewhere. You could be in Florida Shit. right now. <laughs> I ain't going to be in Florida. You could be, I'm just saying. I, mean, I could be in Florida, Relatively yeah. speaking, you could, could be, be in, in Florida, Florida with your mother chilling, driving, Shit. everything with your brother, your sister close be, to you yeah. and everything. Thing. Like, we don't have to be here, but we said, we know what? We made this bed, we're going to lie in it, and we're going to get through it no matter how hard it is, and we're going to come out on top, and it can right. happen. It can happen. It ain't going to happen we, overnight. We said we're not going to, we not. We, 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 we had enough of the, uh, you know what I'm saying, asking family and friends, like, no, let's just go and get it ourselves. Like, you know what I'm saying? All that bouncing from here to here, and you know what I'm saying, living here, and then you gotta live there for some months, and then move here, and then move there, nah, that's out, that's whack, like, nah, I've been there, done that, you know what I'm saying, and nah, nobody All I'm wants trying to, to say that. is, so we said fuck that, yep, nobody gonna, gonna be disrespectful, it out, it out. Don't, 
the, the right, the only really in right That way. was the only help that we can get is yeah, to go to the like shelter really. to keep building on our own, to make yeah. it on our own. Like I said, we could have easily went to my mother's house, my grandmother's house, but we said, no, let's yep. stick it out and do it on our We're own. We're not just in here you bullshit. Understand? Yeah, we come home and get smacked, but... That's like, after a day work of work. every day, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're working on our credit, you know what I'm saying? We save we save our money. Yeah, sometimes we got to touch our savings, and that's just normal, regular people, but we do save our money, you know what I'm saying? We got we the bike outside, up. We save. so I don't want to hear none of that. Like, we can buy a car if we want, you know what I'm saying? We, we can just move don't into an apartment right now we if just we just want. don't want the extra like, we expenses, want to, so we'll be tight. Right we now, just, right? We're trying to figure out how not to be tight. We've been there and done that, so we're still trying to figure it out, and... You know what I'm saying? And we know, you know what I'm saying, where that, that road, the, a lot of those roads, we know where they lead to. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like, nah, like, we, we know, you know what I'm saying, what we want to do. No, but I'm offended that the chick was in the comments talking about she missing her tooth and she be having weird movements. She a, she a crackhead. Like, damn, girl, that's the only drug that you can put me on was crack. <laughs> Look at my fingers, at least. I don't got no burn nah, marks tonight. Like, like weird, damn, boo. Sometimes. That's damn, all. boo. Orange and the blue, Papa Pizzy. Oh, and I be knowing why I be smoking That's so much. That's it, but I'm we smoke top shelf, so we be smacked. Chad I really be smacked. Me in here, like, to kill yep, myself and I sometimes. damn sure will start nodding if I sit back. You damn right. Can you stop being so disrespectful? I can't even edit half the stuff you said out. I'm sorry, but I just. You know, Anyways, sorry, guys, that wasn't really much of a video. I just wanted to come out and express myself and be honest because, like I said, I posted the um the post on YouTube, and I ain't no punk. I ain't no back, but I ain't never hated on another woman, and I erased it because I said to myself, you know what, I'll put it up after I explain myself, because I ain't gonna have nobody coming out the side of my neck talking about you not, and you a crackhead this, or you this, or you that. Girl, you don't even know me, you don't even see me, so sit back and claim your husband's blessings, and don't, don't come for me. That's all I said. I'm allowed to speak on however I want, however I want, but I'm never disrespectful, and I've always kept it real. Have I ever been disrespectful and spoke about anybody? That's why I can't understand where the disrespect is coming from. Like, it's crazy. And the disrespect is crazy, and I'm just you not know? going to take it no more. You understand? It's, it's not fair. I don't and deserve it. And my thing it. is, like, just, like, the whole, yeah, just, like, the disrespect I don't know. It's like unreal. the disrespect, I guess. Yeah, talk because about it's my like uterus. it's pointless. Like talking about that's why you can't have like, kids. And nobody it's too late don't even talk about nobody. Nobody don't talk about you or nobody. Y'all don't even nobody know. Y'all don't even know my nephews nobody. and nieces' like, names just because she's so irrelevant to me. Because this is the channel that we have. This is our platform. Why am I sitting here talking about exactly? We got enough stuff. Every time somebody come knock on the door, listen. Look, every time somebody come knock on the door, I think I got to get the boxes to pack the stuff up to leave. Like, listen, my mind is so far gone. We got all and this shit we think about. I just Trust wanted to me. come on here and address the situation. You can say I'm explaining myself or whatever, but I feel like at the end of the day, I owe it to you guys because I bring you on this part of my journey. This is my life. Me. I love it. I just I say include you on everything. And somebody, and whoever keeps saying that, oh, you put your business on social media. My business is on social media. I have a YouTube channel. If I could talk about my husband, I, mean, yeah, I could talk I about. I say this is all our business. Go right ahead. You know whatever. what I'm saying? I've whatever. talked about yeah. my husband. I've talked about my rape. I've talked about work. I've talked about my mother. I've talked about my family. I've talked about living in the shelter. I've talked about everything that combines it makes to let to let i don't bring chat into it because most of the, the videos and everything is about me you know what i'm saying i'm still getting comfortable talking in front of the camera i'm still nervous and everything like that but god is such a good god and he knows in my heart what i'm trying to do and i'm just trying to inspire and just just let people know if they talk about you just keep strong and know in your heart who you are and what you're destined for you know because i know that i'm gonna have a baby i might a baby gonna come out of me it's just right now, I know that I can't give the child everything that I know he or she deserves. And I'm going to wait. <laughs> Listen, I say wait, but this time next year or the year after, by the grace of God, show your mercy on me. I will be your mother. I ain't stressing it. Girls be having babies in their 40s and everything. It's nothing. This was God's plan for me. And I ain't going to blame nobody or sit here and hurt or nothing because these are the decisions that I made that led me up to here. You know, I mean, no disrespect to anybody. Yeah, me I mean, no harm to anybody. This is just me. Like I said, uh, I wanted I to come. Okay. I wanted to come else. up here. And this Monday, I want to answer some questions because I get that question a lot. Like I said, I get emails asking me, why are you still in the shelter? You in there with a man and this and that, this and that. I've already spoke about that. And 
and I can only just be honest. It's a combination of everything together. And I mean no disrespect to Chad when I say that, but I take care of myself. Our money is not combined. The money situation financially Our is terrible. Our money is combined. It's terrible, but it's combined. Like I said, the money situation <laughs> that money is shit, terrible, uh, nah, that's, okay? That's not. And that's another reason why, combined. you know? You don't want to leave that's here and can't pay your rent. That's why all that, but our money is combined. That's for sure. That's for shit, sure. Anyways. I love y'all, and like I said, if I offended anybody putting the um, message out there, I apologize. I just know that when I come and do a video, I want y'all to have a deep understanding of where I'm coming from and get a better sense of what it is. Maybe I am too open, but hey, maybe that's something I need to work on, but I'm not afraid to say, hey, maybe that's something I need to work on. Should I do better? Do I need to do better? I and like I ask God open. to forgive me. I just feel me. like you're keeping it funky. You're telling the real truth on what it is. Like, I don't feel like you're being too open. You're not, like, nah, this, this is not a reality TV show. You're not being too open. Like, you're just telling <laughs> what the, what the fuck it is. Like, yeah, Life like, with tea. Keeping up with tea. You know tea. what I'm saying? Y'all watching us wake up and walking around and eat cereal and talk around. Like, that's like being, to me, like really being in the Showing business then you can see the business life. right it's like watching what's the what's the one keeping of those up the keeping up with that's being in the business love like, you know island. what i'm saying we all up in a business love you know what i'm saying Y'all watch like, love island? <laughs> we all up in a business but ain't that black girl beautiful i forgot her damn name that black girl is beautiful her skin that oh. rich dark chocolate i'm talking about love island the show the couples mm. come on channel two and they step on the island oh, no. okay, you don't okay. be you don't be you don't, exactly but um <coughs> I love you guys so much and I appreciate the ones that really ride for me, understand my plight, understand where I'm coming from and just understand that I'm just a young woman trying to get my life together and Me too, y'all. I'm just trying to get my life together, you understand? Everybody's a little hard to understand once in a while, you know? But that's okay. As long as you understand yourself and you know what your mission is and you understand that you have a better purpose and that God has anointed you, that's all that really matters. We are all anointed by God. We all have a purpose. There's enough to go around. I ain't no hater. I think having babies is beautiful and being a hater was never yeah, in my blood like, because I am so blessed. Like what? I am so baby, blessed. I think it is really, and so many people have this misconception that because you're in the shelter, your life is all doom and gloom. Now don't get me wrong. You do have individuals and couples and families in here that take advantage of this, that don't work, that don't do anything and sit up in their room, get high. And, and I, I mean, really, they're just, what's the word? There's no discretion. They're blatantly disrespectful. And it's like, wow. But when I say that, that's not for the masses because you have the individuals that's in here that have been in it for years, that work for hospitals, nurses, lawyers, paralegals. There's all sorts of people in here that just want a home but aren't in a rush to go take the first apartment that they can so they'll wind up back in here again. Ain't nobody rushing out to go pay $2,000 for an apartment right. knowing that once that year rent is paid up. You don't have no intentions of paying that $2,000. You know how many times people do with that in here? Yeah. With a white yeah. refrigerator. Uh-uh, right. we ain't doing no white fridges yeah. up in here. 1600 a month, you should not have no white real, refrigerator. I don't stick and shit with them shit. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Okay. White yeah. refrigerator, no. It ain't going down. But yeah. And whoever that was in the comments that said, yeah, you think it's cracked, I should slap you in your face. I really should. I don't okay. care. <laughs> you are right in the video. Okay, sure. Anyways. <laughs> Nah, I ain't slapping nobody. Just don't be rude and disrespectful. If you had a question, all you had to do is hit me up in the email. So you understand? Like, that's what I dislike about females. Y'all can say all y'all want in the comments to each other, but y'all won't come to me in the email and come to me like a real woman and address y'all situations or y'all concerns. So that's just being phony. I don't have time to address that. I'm all about blessings, elevating myself, elevating my chakra so I could be at a place where I it doesn't affect me. I don't get that about me. people. Like, why say something about somebody if you don't even... You, especially if you it's think you know and you don't exactly know for sure. Like, it's called speculation. I don't even say nothing. Me, that's the, I don't or you would ask to make sure you knew the or answer to clarify first, it. Right. If you're smart enough to say, oh, you did that, that, why don't you Yeah, you ain't even called nobody ask yet. ask the question, you know what Please. I mean? Like, yo, let's get it, yeah, 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 you know? Real women like, say things to each other to their face. Bush. They don't go through third parties. Real women speak to each other. But I hope I answered all y'all que questions, whatever. Um... 
And I said, I try to be an open book because I never want to come across as phony. I don't. And it's so crazy because I be an open book, give y'all everything of me, and I still get called fake. I still get called weak. I still get called everything in the book. But, you know, it just lets me know to keep on pushing because if somebody calls me weak, what do they think about themselves? Because a strong person is not calling somebody weak. A person that loves themselves is not projecting any type of negativity, negativity out. Right. A person that's it's deep in positivity. love with themselves and knows themselves and is secure in who they are, they're not projecting out that type of negativity. And if you are so happy too. and so in love and everything like that, you, there's no need to tell anybody because your actions speak for it. When right. I see you, I would see the happiness. There's no reason for you to throw anything in anybody's face. Nobody. Yeah. I'm just a young and black a woman people... trying to make it in a world that's designed against me. That's it. I'm trying to be a boss and really I'm trying to break generational curses. That's what I'm in the yeah, business of doing. Generational wealth. You, know you understand? You that's you, it. You're trying to leave, so you're trying to. I know that's and what I'm And you can talk for. like that and be at a place like this where you're at rock bottom. You be here and you stay here long enough and you let it settle in your mind so you know you're I will never come back wealth. here that's again. And I will never come back here again. And say that you will never come back yeah. here again. Nah, we will never come, we'll back, never here come back here again. By the grace never. of God, your will, Lord Jesus, I will never step foot back never. in any type of subsidized housing or any shelter ever because I will be able to make it on my own because you have blessed me and put me in a place that I can bless others and take other people to heights. Yeah. And that's all I yeah. want to do. Listen, I have no hate listen, in my listen, heart, listen, no listen. malice. I can be with a man right now that shows me no love that I want, but that still doesn't take away from the fact that I feel good. I still have no hate in my heart. Why? Why? There's enough for everybody. There is. We can all be loved. And I've been so hurt for so long. It's like, why hurt anymore? Why? What did it get me? Is it my turn? Can I speak now? Damn, you have to act like a teacher. I got to get you a buzzer or something. Me too. Me too. Y'all, yeah, same thing for me uh, with the fellas like shit. You know, even though I got a lady that, you know, feels I don't love her and show her enough love. You got stuff. me a construction paper card you know for Christmas for my hey, birthday. I'll, I'll hey, kill it's you the all thought, It's the thought no. that count and all that. We 30. And like, no, you know and what I'm saying? That count. And, and it's, a lot, it's a lot more to that story anyway. So Let me like, know you down know below. He should have been saving since story. February. Like, he should have been saving since February. Y'all were, yeah, I t I didn't, I, didn't we tell him? That, 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 I mean, maybe she did, maybe she didn't. I don't Chad, know. Chad, you should have been saving if since February. If she did it, I'm going to tell y'all. It, it was a bill, and I said, you know, I've been you saving. Still away from the park. And like, yo, like, this guy really He had $100. Really he had $100. And what we got to do, this could go to this, or we got this to go to this. She said to let it go to this and let this go to this, and that's what happened. He, and then he had a hundred dollars. Sure I know the outcome. Listen, he had a hundred dollars, right? And Fellas, I said, You owe the money, you know pay it. But my thing say. is, he should have had fifty dollars. He should have been saving. I don't know what, he should have been know saving since like. February, so he didn't have to rely on girl. nothing. You should have had your money you since February. You see, exactly my point. You should have been saving since February, so you had more than a hundred dollars. Thank you. So with that being said, let no man make no excuses. You are priceless. He shouldn't be worried about, oh, he only had this. He should have been saving since February, so he had much more than anything, and he had a contingency plan, okay? I'm not know saying your nothing. Worth. I'm not Don't. saying how much we're saving, Don't. how much we had. I'm not saying Don't, because God knows the truth. I told you the story. That's God it. knows the truth, and that's the important thing, and that's why I feel so good, because God really knows the truth. And that's all about finding yourself and loving yourself. And no matter what my situation is, just know your worth. Whoever you are, you are priceless and you are valuable. And don't let anybody take that from you. No matter how hard it may get, no matter how hard it is, not having a mother, not having a father, sisters, cousins, brothers, whoever it is, just know, just for today, you are not alone. And you have somebody that is there for you. You can always call on God, always. Because sometimes I forget that I could just call on him and then I remember, he is always there, always. I am never alone. I can't ever say again, I feel lonely because my Lord and Savior is always there with me. And being in this type of life, it's hard enough as it is, you know? So, you don't need extra baggage. You just need the positivity to keep on trucking forward and know it's going to be okay. Three years is a long time, but you know what? There's people that have been in here for six years, and I say to myself, Lord, your will, please don't let my story be that long because I will fight to get out of here before then. And 
I know, and that's another thing. She had a lot to say in, in her uh, her little comment. She was like, "Oh, it's taking a long time to get your credit going, but credit is not something that goes up like that, especially when you were coming down from damn near for something." So listen, <laughs> it's a work in progress. Like I said, pay attention to your credit. Don't wait till something happens to make sure you take care of it. Make sure you monitor your credit and stay on top of it, guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know every time my video was uploaded. And also, don't forget information down in the description box below Facebook, Instagram, email as well. If you want to communicate to me one on one, like a real woman, we can do that. Or if you would like to donate, I have that information down in the description box below. If you're feeling generous, anytime you would like, I have PayPal, Zelle, and Cash App. So, other than that, I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed Monday. Hopefully nobody comes and knocks on the door and says, time to go because it's getting late. But other than that, God is good. We are blessed. And I'm an irresistible magnet for all that belongs to me by divine right. Because what is for us is for us no matter what. Nobody can take that from us. And um, if I disappointed some of y'all today, I apologize. Like I said, I was a little bothered because, hey, I did nothing. And to get this type of hatred is just... It's the last thing I need, you know? Especially coming from somebody that's so happy. Happy people don't hurt people. I love you guys again. And um, like I said, if you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. i see you guys in the next video. You finished? Then say goodnight. Peace out, YouTube. i see you later, YouTube. Peace in the Middle East!